What a year 2023 has been for collecting. We have not only seen the reissue of some classic albums, but on a personal note, I have been able to tick off a couple of records from my want list. Welcome to The Unsliver. In this two-part video, I will show you what are my favorite pressings from 2023 and my favorite albums of the year, plus my hopes for the new year. The first one is the White Lotus Season 1 soundtrack. This came out in March in three different variants and I went for this one. I love what they did with the design. These illustrations fit well the vibe of that first season. This release includes a strip and an inner sleeve with one of the promo shots for the show and credits on the other side. This white vinyl sounds great, really quiet and punchy, making some of the quirky elements of the music come out beautifully. Then in April, two classic R&B albums were reissued for their 25th anniversary edition. This was done by Vinyl Me Please. I'm talking about, of course, Asher's My Way and Mariah Carey's Butterfly. I already covered in depth the release of Mariah Carey's Butterfly box sets in a previous video, where I go through the three editions released and share some of the reasons why I love this album so much. You can watch it through the link I'm leaving in the description. And here is Asher's sophomore album, My Way. This had been on my want list for a very long time, so I was very happy when it was announced. Now, the first noticeable difference is that they did a photoshoot recreation of the cover. I know that Asher still looks great, but I would have personally preferred it if they kept the original cover. Here we see the gatefold that comes with a booklet attached to it. This contains lyrics and newly recreated photos from the era, alongside some behind the scenes photos in the studio with Jermaine Dupri, who produced the original versions of the songs, and Ryan James Carr, who did the reworkings of a couple of songs. The records look gorgeous with this wavy silver look and the sound is really balanced. It is a bit on the quiet side, but there's no distortion when raising the volume. One thing I love is that they included the extended version of You Make Me Wanna, which was always my go-to version back in the day. Then in May, another variant of one of my all-time favorite albums came out. I'm talking about Aaliyah. This already had come out on Vinyl Me Please the year before, and this is the version that Blackground Records released. This is the longest I've ever waited for a pre-order to arrive. I ordered it in August of 2021, and it took one year and eight months. That's a record. Blackground really tested my patience with this, but I think it was worth it, and I'll tell you why. The album design is exactly the same as in all other editions, although the colors are more saturated than in the original pressing. What I was really impressed by was that the look was pretty close to the mock-up they advertised. Adding to that the fact that the album sounds really good on this pressing. I haven't done a proper comparison yet, but this version to me sounds better than the Vinyl Me Please one. July saw the release of Tink's 2022 album, Pillow Talk. This is one very unique item in my collection because only 50 of them were made. The packaging of the album is pretty standard, as you can see, with a gatefold, full-size photos and credits. But what makes this edition special are the records. I mean, look at that, it is filled with purple feathers. The records are quite heavy and thick. To be honest, I wasn't sure how this would sound, but I was very impressed by the quality of the pressing. In August, I received one of the releases I was most excited about, that is The Last of Us soundtrack. This is the Mondo exclusive, and I was really looking forward to it because I love the show, even though I never played the game. One thing that I love about this release is the print quality and the smooth, silky matte paper it comes in. The album comes as a gatefold with an insert and a double-sided poster. The records look gorgeous, with a sort of sparkling effect when the light hits it in different parts. As far as sound goes, it is not perfect, which was to be expected as there are many quiet passages throughout, but it's still a pretty decent copy and I'm happy with it. In September, a new version of the Nightmare Before Christmas soundtrack came out. This is a picture disc with a so drop effect. Usually I wouldn't add a picture disc to the best presents of the year because the sound is not as good. But this was a very exciting release. I think the packaging is a lot of fun and the soul drop effect is the best I have ever seen. Another thing that I really liked about it is that it wasn't the boring, lazy PVC sleeve for picture discs that most people do. Here we have the cover with the classic illustration of the movie. I love that they kept the illustration style very minimal, just putting them against red or black backgrounds. 
Then we have the discs which animate when spinning. As you can see here, the animations are scenes from the movie. The zoetrope effect can only be viewed with some specific settings that the designer of the zoetrope, Drew Tetz, shared on his channel. And you can check that video on the link I posted below. Moving on to October, we have what for me was the best vinyl release of 2023. I'm talking about KT Catalog, which includes the first three albums of Katy Perry. I already did a video showing the entire box set, but what I didn't comment on at the time was the sound quality, and I'm happy to report that it sounds great. All three albums are mastered amazingly for vinyl. I didn't find any distortions or imperfections in either album, and I particularly love finally being able to listen to Teenage Dream on vinyl. This box set should be the standard for pop artists going forward. There was so much care put into it, from the holographic foil on the box to the fun and original colors for each album, plus the extras included, be it a calendar, a poster or a photo booklet. I hope we see more of this quality from other artists in the future. Lastly, in November, we got three Whitney Houston reissues, and the one I want to include here is My Love Is Your Love. This had been at the top of my want list for many years, so as you can imagine, I'm really happy to finally have it. I did a comparison video ranking all of the reissues so far, and this one came on top for me. Not only it comes with great packaging and beautiful color, but the album sounds so full and warm with great dynamics and powerful moments matching Whitney's incredible voice. You can watch it through the link below. That was my list of favorite vinyl of 2023. Let me know in the comments which ones you loved this past year. And if you haven't yet, subscribe for part two, where I will be running through my favorite albums of the year. Thanks for watching. See you next time.